Yo, welcome back to the channel everyone and in this video we're gonna be going over the new top 10 best class of to use here in Cold War Season 5. There's been a lot of weapon changes made this season. It's very important you guys are running around with the best class setups that are suited for the current meta. So with that being said, the like goal on this video has to be 750 likes. If we can get 750 likes in under 24 hours, that'd be absolutely incredible. Also, let me know down in the comment section right now, what is your current favorite gun to use here in season five and do not forget if you guys want to stay up to date with any and all best class setups best settings tips and tricks or any new updates that do go live here in black ops cold war make sure you guys drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications so you guys are notified immediately when i upload a new video let's go over these classes because there were a lot of changes made to assault rifles smgs and honestly the meta has shifted once again so first off we'll be taking a look at an xm4 class setup now, i'm gonna put this out there right now i'm gonna be going ahead and giving you guys class setups for eight attachment seven attachment as well as five attachment class setups that suit all play styles as well as all game modes so i have everybody covered in this video so again first off we're taking a look at the xm4 and this is going to be an eight attachment class setup consisting of the microflex led the regular suppressor the 13.7 inch ranger barrel the tiger team spotlight the field agent grip the Salvo 45 round fast mag, the airborne elastic wrap, as well as the Raider pad. This class setup is going to be perfect if you guys are playing respawn game modes like Domination or Hardpoint, and you guys are trying to go for your most kills or maybe even your first nuke here in Season 5. Now, as you guys can also see here for this class setup, there was a change made within the magazine category for the XM4. They went ahead and they changed the attributes of the 50 round fast mag and actually added in a brand new attachment now as you guys can see here it's been replaced with the 45 round fast mag but the good thing about this is we're gonna have less of an aim down sight penalty meaning this attachment is even better than it was before yes we lose five bullets in each mag but at the trade-off of having a faster aim down sight time, meaning we're going to be hand hitting our shots a lot quicker, that's going to be super helpful when winning more gunfights. So definitely go ahead and put on the Salvo 45 round fast mag on your XM4. Now also, we're going to go over to the muzzle and the regular suppressor got changed again, allowing this weapon to be that much more effective at medium to longer ranges. So there's absolutely no reason literally no reason to run around with a non-suppressed xm4 anymore here in black ops cold war in my opinion the xm4 has replaced the ak-47 as the number one assault rifle to use in this game because you can create a class setup for any and all engagements as well as any and all game modes now for the main class setup i'm running the xm4 with the akimbo magnums and i'm using stem shot c4 field mic with the perks flat jacket scavenger ninja and all this is going to be possible with the gunfighter wildcard let's go ahead and transition to class setup number two so for our second class setup, we're looking at another xm4 because remember this is in my opinion and honestly i think a lot of people are going to agree with me the number one ar to use here in black ops cold war as of right now we're making another setup for players that like to play more aggressive and that also play search and destroy remember i got you guys covered this xm4 class setup is going to consist of again the microflex led the regular suppressor the 13.7 inch ranger barrel the steady aim laser instead of the tiger team spotlight the field agent grip the new magazine the biops mini clamp the airborne elastic wrap as well as the raider pad now the reason i'm going ahead and changing the magazine and running the b ops mini clamp is because this literally transforms the xm4 into an smg you're going to have increased reload quickness increased max starting ammo as well as increased aim down sight time making this attachment perfect and i mean 
perfect for players who like to run and gun and be aggressive and that are also playing modes that require you to be agile and fast like search and destroy so definitely go ahead and put on the b-ups mini clamp if you guys are playing those modes now for the next attachment change we're going to the body and we are running the steady aim laser so we have increased hip fire accuracy again this is going to help out players who want to be aggressive and then also want to rush around a lot more overall a fantastic xm4 class setup that i recommend a lot of you guys to try out if you guys are more of the aggressive and running gun style of player now again pretty much the main setup is going to be the same the only thing i've changed is my perk which is going to be assassin over scavenger obviously for snd to hunt down those players that potentially go on a streak now let's go ahead and transition to class setup number three which we're taking a look at the ffar and this is going to be a five attachment ffar class setup absolutely geared for running gun aggressive style of play so for the ffar we're running the regular suppressor the 21.2 ranger barrel the field agent grip the stenag 44 round magazine as well as the airborne elastic wrap we only need five attachments on the ffar because they went ahead and buffed this weapon making it that much more effective at close and medium ranges and again this gun is still going to be good at long ranges because of its iron sight adjustment made last season so you guys can see here we're going to go to the barrel and we're going to the ranger barrel specifically they went ahead and tweaked the ranger barrel pretty much removing all of the aim walking movement speed penalties again making the the FFAR amazing at medium ranges because we're going to be able to strafe enemies out and that's something that you're not going to be able to do with a lot of the other assault rifles so definitely go ahead and try out the FFAR here in season five now for in this setup i have one the kimbo magnums i'm running stem shot c4 and the field mic and for my perks i'm running perk greed because i'm running only a five attached class setup with six perks i have on flat jacket tactical mass scavenger quartermaster to resupply my c4s and i'm also running ninja as well as spycraft overall a fantastic ffar class setup no matter what game mode you guys are playing and especially if you guys are running gun aggressive style players they like to get in the spawn and just wreak havoc let's go ahead and check out class setup number four which is going to be on the ak-47 which is still a very very solid and good assault rifle i just believe the xm4 is now better so for the ak-47 class setup we are running it without an optic we're gonna be using a seven attachment class because the optic on the ak-47 or i mean the iron sight on the ak-47 is crystal clear and there's no reason to go ahead and defile that so for the muzzle running the regular suppressor the 20 inch liberator barrel the tiger team spotlight the spet snaz grip the vdv 50 round fast mag the gru elastic wrap as well as the kgb skeletal stock now the ak-47 has been untouched during this update which is honestly good because if they buffed it well it would be 110% overpowered, and if they nerfed it, well, then it probably would fall out of meta. So I'm really happy the AK-47 has stayed relevant throughout this entire COD's life cycle. All these attachments are geared for taking enemies out at all ranges, but the AK is going to be a monster at those medium to longer ranges because it has very low recoil, and especially when you guys go ahead and put on the 20-inch Liberator Barrel, in turn, making this weapon feel like it's killing enemies a lot faster you're gonna find yourself destroying people across the map without having any problem controlling the recoil so definitely go ahead and try out this ak-47 class setup now for minute setup i have on the kimbo magnums and i'm running stem shot c4 field mic and for my perks i'm running flat jacket scavenger ninja and all this is going to be possible with the gunfighter wildcard a fantastic wildcard to use on this ak-47 class now for class set number five we're going to go ahead and take a look at the krig 6 which has found my heart here in black ops cold War. i really have been enjoying using the krig 6 as of recently just because of its ease of use and you don't have to think at all when using this weapon it's literally point and shoot and this eight attachment class setup is allow us to do exactly that so for the krig 6 we're running it with the microflex led because it's going to be the clearest optic picture to use for this weapon you want to make the craig 6 as easy to use as possible because this gun literally does not move we're running it with the infantry compensator the 19.7 inch ranger barrel the tiger team spotlight 
the Field Agent Grip, the Stenag 50 round magazine, the Airborne Elastic Wrap, as well as the Raider Stock. Now, you guys could probably notice that I went ahead and made a couple of different attachment changes with the Krig 6 as opposed to a lot of my other setups, especially with the XM4 and with the AK-47. I like to run the Krig 6 loud and proud because this weapon is strictly suited for medium to long range combat because the gun legitimately has zero recoil. So we're going to go ahead and put on the infantry compensator so we get additional recoil control to make this weapon even easier in a straight laser. We're not going to have to run the suppressor because we're going to be picking people off and building up a kill streak from middle map and from our spawn. Now, the next attachment change I did make is under the magazine category. I'm not running a fast mag on the Crick 6 because, again, this gun is suited for medium to longer ranges. We're not going to need a fast reload because we're going to be picking enemies off from long range. The regular magazine is perfect, and the Crick 6 already has a very fast reload time. So just go ahead and put on the regular 50 round mag. We're going to be rewarded with a faster aim down sight time, which is going to be super helpful with this assault rifle. So from in this setup, I have on the Kimbo Magnums, and I'm running Stim Shot, C4 Field Mic, and I'm running it with Flat Jacket, Scavenger Ninja, all possible with the Gunfighter Wildcard. A great Craig 6 class setup, especially if you guys are trying to sit back, relax, and pick enemies off. Now we're going to go over to class set number 6, and this is going to be the start of all of the SMG builds which we are going to be transitioning to five attachment class setups to protect us from a lot of the nonsense that has been running rampant in Black Ops Cold War multiplayer these last couple of seasons. These setups are going to be geared for players that like to run around, but also want to be protected from all the nonsense like grenades, bouncing Bettys, the gas mines, the gas mines, all the garbage. We're going to be protected with these class setups. So for the MP5, we're running it with the AMG Suppressor, the 9.5 inch Task Force Barrel, the Field Agent Grip, the Salvo 40 round Fast Mag, as well as the Airborne Elastic Wrap. A pretty solid MP5 setup. This has been meta since the game first came out, and it's still meta here in Season 5. A great MP5 setup, and you guys cannot go wrong with it. I've seen so many people in my comment section of my MP5 videos and on my top 10 videos of you guys getting your first nukes with this setup, so definitely go ahead and give this a try if you guys have not already. Now, for the remainder setup, I have on the Kimbo Magnums, and I'm running Stim Shot, C4, and Field Mic, and with my perks, I have Flat Jacket, Tactical Mask, Scavenger Ninja, and I'm running Quartermaster as well as Spycraft. Overall, a great setup. Remember, five attachments, six perks to protect us from all the nonsense, and we are going to be able to resupply our C4s, allowing us to run around and take enemies out of hard-to-reach areas a lot easier because again we can resupply our c4s on an aggressive class setup super helpful i recommend you guys going ahead and putting this on your mp5 setup now for class at number seven we're going to go ahead and check out the bullfrog again we are running a five attachment class setup with six perks so for the bullfrog we are running it with the Gru suppressor the 7.4 inch task force barrel the spetsnaz grip the regular Spetsnaz 85 mag, as well as the Gru Elastic Wrap. Now, the reason we're not running a fast mag on the Bullfrog is because we literally have 85 rounds in a magazine, and there's going to be no point to go ahead and have to reload after each and every kill. We're going to be rewarded much more having a faster aim down sight time, in turn, getting that first shot off, which is going to guarantee us that kill with this SMG. So I recommend you guys running the Spetsnaz 85 round mag over the VV 85 round fast mag on your Bullfrog class setups 110%. Now for the main other setup, I have on the Kimbo Magnums, the Stim shot c4 field mic and i'm running flat jacket scavenger ninja tactical mask quarter master as well as spycraft all possible with the perk greed wild card a great and i mean a great class setup to use if you guys are running gun aggressive style players here in black ops cold war now we're gonna go to class up number eight which is gonna be looking at the milano which is a fantastic weapon 
here in Black Ops Cold War. Honestly, underrated. This SMG does not get the love it deserves, but at the same time, it reminds me of the Uzi for Modern Warfare that just got buffed so many times that it became meta. I'm telling you guys this right now. If they touch this gun again, it will be the number one SMG here in Black Ops Cold War. So for the Milano, we are running a seven attachment class setup to maximize the damage of this SMG. We're running it with the infantry compensator, the 10.6 inch task force barrel, the regular steady aim laser, the field agent grip, the Salvo 55 round fast mag, the airborne elastic wrap, as well as the Raider stock. I like to run my Milano loud and proud to kind of maintain that damage as well as that range because again, this gives me the Uzi vibes and I always ran the Uzi unsuppressed back in Modern Warfare. So it just makes sense to go ahead and put on the infantry compensator to make this gun that much easier to use here in season five. So definitely go ahead and put this on your Milano class setup. And because we are running seven attachments with this setup, I'm running it with the Akimbo Magnums, Stimshot, C4, Field Mic, with Flat Jack and Scavenger Ninja, all possible with the Gunfighter Wildcard. To give this SMG a try, I can almost guarantee you, you're gonna be tearing it up and probably maining this SMG potentially over the MP5 during this season. Now for class setup number nine, the LC-10. This gun got a nerf, but with the right class setup, it is still amazing here in this game. And we are running a five attachment setup with the LC-10. So for the LC-10, we are going to be running the SOCOM Eliminator over to HD Suppressor because it did get an increase in its recoil. So we're definitely going to go ahead and tone that back down with the SOCOM Eliminator. We're running it with the 13.9 inch Task Force Barrel, the Field Agent Grip, the Salvo 52 round fast mag, as well as the airborne elastic wrap. Look, fellas, the LC-10 is still good. It's obviously going to remain good and remain meta here in season five. So check this class setup out. If you guys have not already, you guys will definitely find success with this. And if you guys have not dropped your first snoop or your highest KD gameplay, or maybe even your most kills, go ahead and equip the LC-10 immediately. It is amazing still. Here in season five and because we are running five attachments we have the kimbo magnums stem shot c4 field mic as well as flat jacket tactical mass scavenger quartermaster ninja and spycraft all possible with the perk greed wild card now for our final class set we're gonna go ahead and take a look at a tactical rifle which is gonna be the m16 which is probably one of the most underrated weapons in the entire game not that many people use this but if you guys do get killed by it or you guys mash this tactical rifle you're gonna be rewarded greatly because this weapon kills in one burst 99 percent of the time so for m16 class we are running an eight attachment class setup starting off with the vision tech 2x which is in my opinion the best option to run on a tactical rifle because we're taking enemies out at longer ranges the 2x is going to be very helpful with this weapon running the infantry compensator the 20.5 inch task force barrel the tiger team spotlight the field agent foregrip the regular 45 round mag, the airborne elastic wrap, as well as the Raider pad. Now, the reason I'm running the regular 45 round mag is because, again, like the Critic 6, this gun is only suited for medium to longer ranges. And because this is a burst weapon, there's no need to go ahead and destroy your aim down sight time. Because with a burst weapon, if you get the first shot, especially with this one burst M16 class, you are going, going to get that kill. So just run the regular 45 round mag, you'll be fine. You'll be able to take out five people with this magazine. It's ridiculous. Now, again, for our body, we're in the Tiger Team Spotlight because we want to see people further away. Again, this is a tactical rifle, and we are running this weapon loud and proud, so the infantry compensator just makes sense to use on the M16, opposed to the regular silencer or the AG suppressor. Now, from the other setup, I have an Akimbo Magnums, Stim Shot, C4, as well as the Field Mic, and I'm running it with Flat Jacket, Scavenger Ninja, all possible with the gunfighter wild card overall a fantastic m16 class setup and it's going to wrap up our top 10 best classes to use here in black ops cold war season 5 if there are three class setups 
you guys need to check out this season to go ahead and get busy. I recommend you guys going ahead and using the Milano. I love promoting this weapon because it's something new, it's something different, and honestly, I feel like it's underrated, and a lot of people will definitely have fun using it. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this MP5 class setup. It is tried and true, and it will get the job done, whether it being your most kills, your highest KD ratio, or your first snook. And then finally, definitely, Go ahead and check out this new XM4 class setup with the BOPS mini clamp. It, it, it runs the game. It is amazing. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you guys did and want to stay up to date with any and all best class setups, best settings, tips and tricks, or to be notified when any new updates do go live here in Black Ops Cold War, make sure you guys drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on those post notifications. About 70% of you guys who are watching the content each and every day are not yet subscribed. So if you guys want to stay up to date with all the good stuff, hit that notification bell and become part of the year's family. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.